Hi guys, my name is Ellie. My name's Emily. And we are Sister Natural. And we are here today reacting to the most viral paranormal TikToks. I've got a surprise. I don't know if many of you have heard the Miami more sightings of a potential alien. No. There's a footage caught on camera. Yeah. Of, I would say about a hundred yeah. police cars lined up down beside the Miami Mall. Yeah. They say it's because there was children inside mm -hmm. setting off fireworks. Yeah. Why would they need like 50 police cars yeah. for children and they were shooting at them? But there is actual footage that they've caught on camera of this like being that is like eight foot tall and people that were there have reported to have seen them and they were running away screaming. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Okay. So I can show you that footage I'm now. excited. If you like this content, please subscribe to our channel. It literally takes five two seconds. seconds. Two seconds, not even five two seconds. seconds. We know that a large percentage of you guys watching aren't actually subscribed to our channel. So please just go down a... This is the video footage of the alien. Boy, what the f going on in Miami, bro? Why are more people not talking about this? How have I not heard about this? It's because they've, they've literally said that this was because of a few teenagers setting off fireworks in Miami Mall. That's literally what the police have said. That's their statement. And in a minute, you will see all, all the police cars lining up down the road, and there's like a hundred of them. Oh my God. Yeah. Like, why on earth would you need that many police officers for, for some kids, for setting, some off kids setting off fireworks? And apparently they were shooting at this thing. You know that thing that they just showed that yeah. was, like, walking along? Yeah. That was apparently this eight-foot alien thing, and they were all shooting at them. They're covering it up. Yeah, they they're are. covering up aliens. They I are. don't mind. I, I like aliens. I'm sure they'll be fine. Yeah. Oh my god. And so as we run in, we look back and we notice some weird shapes taller than me. I'm six foot two, shadowy, dark, solid shapes, not human. I promise you, these is not human. I mean, it made the hair stand up on my skin. Uh, and shit, we just booked it for the doors after that, man. I can't explain what that was. I can't say that was aliens, but I, I can't say that, sh that was not human. It was not human. And they online, I don't know if they're trying to cover this stuff up, but they saying that it was uh, police officers and, and somebody not shadowy figures. It's 2024, man. It, it's something going on. There's something going on and they trying to cover it up. A lot of people saw what I saw. And like I say, it was so much chaos ensued that it was it was just hard to, to 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 let that sink in that we was realizing what what we looking at. I mean, it's some something, something you can never even create in your head in a dream. Boy, what the going on in Miami, bro? He's an eyewitness. Mm -hmm. He saw something, mm -hmm. and he can't say that it's an alien, but mm -hmm. it wasn't human. Mm -hmm. Someone had a theory that the government's like testing 
the citizens, you know, and, and how seeing, they'd react. seeing how they re- would react. And maybe it's something that's like made by, by like the government to, to test how people would react in that kind of situation. I wonder how I'd react. I'd, I'd run. I'd, I'd do run. what everyone else is doing, yeah. running away screaming. Or would I just fully just charge towards it and be like, the fuck are you doing here? <laughs> Why are you bothering us? Apparently all the cops were to defuse the tension between the fight between the kids. Well, the teenagers. But yeah. Did anyone see the teenagers? No. You know that conspiracy about really large men that they say that the government have made mm. to go to war? And there's been pictures of them. Oh. Uh-huh. And in my head I thought maybe one of them, one of their experiments went wrong and it escaped. And oh. that's, and they knew where it had gone. Yeah. That was my theory. Interesting. Maybe, because like, if an alien isn't just going to stroll down Miami High Street, is yeah. it? I don't, you don't know. It could no. be an alien. Yeah. But in my head, I was kind of like, maybe there was something that they've made, yeah. created, and it's escaped. Maybe that being had gone wrong in some way, mm. and they were keeping it in a not very nice environment trying to do tests on it mm. and it escaped and they knew where it was going to go obviously or knew that it was there let us know what you think yeah do you think that's real mm-hmm. comment below mm-hmm. all right now on to the paranormal tiktoks these are as far as we're aware real paranormal activity hiding in the dark tiktok user Pershka recorded a quick video intending to show her noisy ice machine on tiktok but when she was about to post it she noticed something truly chilling. Did you see it? Right before she flips on the light switch, what looks like a little girl can be seen standing right (gasps) next to the ice machine. But as the light turns on, no one there. Oh my god! Is it just a trick of the light? Or could it be a TikTok hope? Go back! There's no, that's not a trick of the light. We need to find out if this woman has a child. That seems like a real one, which is interesting. Yeah. chilling. You'd have to be really good at camera editing as well. Yeah. Did you see it? Right before she flips on the light switch, What looks like a little girl can be seen standing right next to the ice machine. But as the light turns on, no one there. Every time I see it, it it makes me go weird. It makes my back go weird. (laughs) Or could it be a TikTok hoax? I leave it to you to decide. Red door, yellow door. Natalie J and her friends are playing the scary sleepover game, Red Door, Yellow Door. Now, if you want to try it, you'll just have to look that up on your own. But I will say that one of the rules of the game is that if you see someone while in the supposed, quote, trance state, you're never supposed to talk to them, as it is said that it's not a real person, but an evil presence. Red door, door, yellow door, any other color door. Red 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 door, yellow door, any other color door. What do you see? It's like a purple door, red door, and a yellow one. Are you in the room? Yeah. Oh, sh**. Oh, shoot. I'm on the street. Oh, no. No, you better wake him up. Wake him up. Open your eyes. 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 Open
Wake him up! Tito! 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 You okay? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Now, I'm not even gonna try to pretend that I know what's going on here. I'll only say that if this is all a hoax, then that was some pretty impressive acting because that seemed like a legitimate freak out. Oh, that made me want to cry. Why? Because he was, he saw his friend that died. Oh, is that what that was? Yeah. Oh, shit. He saw his friend that died on the street. Oh. Oh, that made me sad. Oh. I like, I liked it. Mm. It was scary, but it made me sad. Yeah. The creeper with claws. TikTok user, your mom's undies. <laughs> Let's just take a second for the giggles to pass. <laughs> All right. Uh, anyway, she claims that she is usually unaffected by anything scary that she watches on the internet or TV. But when her uncle sent her this video captured at his apartment in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, she was shocked. The family claims that they have been tormented by frequent paranormal activity for the entire four years that they have lived in this apartment, but they say they've never captured anything like this before. <sighs> what terrifies the family even more is that the dark figure, which appears to have claws yeah, for hands, huge can be seen coming out of their sleeping baby's bedroom. When they received the notification of captured movement caught by their security camera, they say they immediately fled the apartment yeah. to stay at their parents' home. Mm. So did the family capture some dark entity on camera? You yeah, what are you doing if your child's room is being attacked by a creepy, clawy man? I'm, I'm going. Yeah. I'm out. Yeah, absolutely. Like, I ain't got time for that shit. But imagine getting like a notification on your phone, you just having a camera set up and getting a notification on your phone. I just can't. <laughs> and you see that. Yeah. I ain't got time like, for it. I'm leaving. What would you do? I don't know if I would be able to live anymore. I'd be like, great. Right, if, if, if that is a thing and that could live amongst us. Yeah. I'm out. On the road. TikTok user Sherman O'Neill worked at a local trucking company in Fort Smith, Arkansas. He says that one night, one of the truck drivers captured strange footage on a highway outside of Ada, Oklahoma. Many people, including children, have tragically lost their lives on the two busy highways running through the small town. Sherman and his workmates can be seen watching the dash cam footage from the truck. They are shocked by what they see. 27 there. Yeah. yeah. Let, it, let it roll. Come on. Come on, let it roll. The truck driver barely manages to avoid hitting what seems to be a small child that appears out of thin that air. so sad. But it gets even creepier because the driver says that he immediately stopped the large truck on the side of the road after this incident. He looked everywhere for the child. He found nothing. He called local police, but again, there were no reports of lost or missing children anywhere in the area. So is this a ghost caught on camera? or a completely random, unexplained child on a dark highway in the middle of the night and in the middle of nowhere. Let me know what you think. Just... Ghost. Mm. I reckon it's a ghost. Or, Why not? Or it's like a girl who escaped from somewhere. Yeah. That has been like taken for a while. But if you look at it, it's all, it almost like looks transparent. Mm. Like the child looks transparent. It doesn't look like a real child. Yeah. So... So it's like... What is it? <laughs> Over your shoulder. TikTok user Alicia ah. Newland is alone in her bathroom to record a TikTok video when she captures something truly terrifying.
while Alicia switches back and forth from a reflection to herself, what looks to be the figure oh. of a child appears behind her. And then, just as quickly, disappears. Alicia has no idea who or what the mysterious figure could have been. No. So is it a ghost? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. What do you think? I think it's maybe real. I think they're all real. I, I, I'm just I, I think like the reason why I picked these was because I felt that they... The majority, the last one, mm. I would say I'm a bit skeptical about, but all of them up until that one, I was like, absolutely, I feel like there are at least real reactions to things that they think are real. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever those things are. Interesting. Is up for debate. TikTok user Amanda Angelo is watching YouTube very late at night in her bedroom that she shares with her sister Alexis. Alexis gets up to go to the bathroom, but when she returns, something is just not quite right. Lexi? Lexi? Uh. Lexi? Yeah. Hey, stop staring at me like that. That's what I thought. Let me tell you that I had years of this shit. When we lived together <laughs> at my nan's house, our nan's house, yeah, she, your nan? Yeah. God. At our nan's house. Our nan. I would wake up in the middle of the night because there was a leering shadow watching over me. And that shadow was this person with a pillow. <laughs> Not because she was trying to suffocate me or something. She just wanted to come into my bed. But she was asleep. So when I'd speak to her and be like, Ellie, are you going to come into my bed? Are you going to go into your bed? What are you going to do? She'd just be like... I would talk to you sometimes. Sometimes, but I most go, of the time. <laughs> but it terrified me every time. Like it was such a common occurrence. But I was, it was like, every night. It was every night. But I mean, it was sweet. It was really I, sweet. I just but it was you terrified to me. And like subconscious. <laughs> and then like the times that you would turn me away, I I I, I remember because I remember sleepwalking. Like the next day, I always remember. Sleepwalking, I just couldn't control it in the yeah. moment. You know, like, people say that they have, like, no recollection of sleepwalking. Yeah. I don't think there was ever a time that I didn't have any recollection of sleepwalking. Mm. Like, I wake up knowing that I've sleptwalked so I can remember it like it's a dream. Yeah, yeah. I just wanted to be safe. And I thought I, I was good. You were, a lot of the time. Because oh. sometimes you'd send me back to my bed and I'd go... <laughs> no, go back to my bed. <laughs> it's just a scared... I mean, I was gonna just about to say I was a scared child, but I was doing it in my late, in my early twenties. Yeah. <laughs> Alexis, yo, you're trying to freak me the f out, mom, <laughs> mom, mom. Stop. Now, of course, the simple explanation for Alexis' unnerving behavior is likely that she was simply sleepwalking. However, many TikTok viewers believe that she might have actually been possessed by a ghost or demon, especially since Amanda claims that the event happened at 3 a.m which is said to be the hour when supernatural beings are the most powerful. Either way, it's worth mentioning that I believe that this video is- It's also is the time in the morning when your body produces the most cortisol. So that's why oftentimes you wake up at three in the morning because you literally have a cortisol boost to prepare you to get ready to get up. And so sometimes that makes people actually wake up. It's 100% real. Well, let me clarify that. I believe that Alexis is definitely sleepwalking. Not necessarily that she's possessed. But if you watch closely, Alexis doesn't blink a single time in this entire video, even though a bright flashlight is shining right into her face. 
In fact, Alexis keeps her eyes open for so long that they actually begin to tear up. So, what would you do if one of your family members suddenly walked into your bedroom at 3 a.m. and just started staring what at I you? What would you do? <laughs> suitably freaked out until it became second nature <laughs> paranormal or not this video is downright creepy Hide her this is in the, house. the one that I'm skeptical Chilean about TikTok okay. user Franco Viegas claims that lately odd supernatural activity has been occurring in his home he says that he's seen unexplained shadows experienced sleep paralysis and most bizarre of all he says that some unseen thing actually bit him on the back. Franco decides to set up a small CCTV camera to record himself as he sleeps. A blurry white figure seems to appear on camera. Oddly enough, whatever it is doesn't seem to upset or excite Franco's dog. It continues to sleep through the entire incident. Three days later, Franco's bedsheet is pulled off by something. But it doesn't end there. Two days later on April 30th, Franco Viegas starts to hear knocking on his bedroom door. Bueno, son... Son las... Las una de la mañana, casi. Y nada, para ser concreto, como ven, no tengo audio ni, ni música en el video porque nada, me golpearon la puerta muy fuerte, muy fuerte. Y estoy solo. Despertamos todos, todos los gatos. Y están todos muy fijos en la puerta, así que voy a mover la cámara apuntando hacia allá. Veremos mañana en la mañana o en la madrugada. So Franco changes the angle of the CCTV camera to point towards his door. Five days go by without incident. But on May 5th, as Franco sleeps, his security camera catches something truly chilling. records what seems to be the pale face of a girl peeking into Franco's room like as he sleeps. In desperation, Franco asks his TikTok viewers for advice on what to do about the strange spirit that seems to haunt his home. One viewer recommends an odd sort of seance, saying that Franco should try talking to the spirit while holding a candle in front of a mirror. Amiga, por favor, te pido que me dejes solo. Te lo pido, por favor. Why I'm is always just peeking around? Now, I'm yeah. certainly not saying that this footage is real. But what makes it more compelling is that Franco clearly shows that the bathtub is empty and that he's alone only seconds before the girl appears. <laughs> one night, Franco is filming one of his cats playing. And what happens next is truly bizarre. Hay ruido en el primer piso. Ah, con hey, hey. Ah, no güey. Ah, con tu madre. So, is Franco Viega's house truly haunted? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Uh, you can follow Franco's continuing story. Um, no one's running towards that. No, but also, it's weird how every time it's kind of just, you can only see like this much of its face, it's just going, hello. Yeah. Hello, like around corners. It's Literally. just like, it didn't look like a girl either. To me, it's, it's fake. 
And yeah. then it said he showed, you know, in the bathtub and there was nothing there. Photoshop. So I think it's a shame when people put out that kind of content as like genuinely real mm. because it makes everyone a little bit more skeptical about paranormal stuff. Yeah. Let us know what you think of all of the video clips below, whether or not you think they're real, which ones you think are real, because I would be so interested to know. Yeah. Let us know what you think about the Miami Mall alien, please. We want to know what you think so much. Yeah. A we want to start a community. Of people like, who are interested in this stuff. Yeah. I don't care what you think about paranormal stuff. We want to know. We just want to know what you think. And uh, like get some conversation we going. We love you know? different opinions as well. Yeah. Like, we're open-minded, super yeah. open-minded. Yeah, so let us know what you think and we appreciate you so much. Like and subscribe to we our do. channel. Please do. Comment below. Start a chat with us. We will talk to you. We want to know what you think. So we'll see you in our next video. All right. Bye. Bye.